Hi, this time we will make a magnetic levitation experiment and we will need a small neodymium magnet, a computer hard drive and its power supply. This is an ATX power supply from an old computer, a desktop computer. And the first thing we need is to remove the top part of the hard drive. In order to get the levitation effect, we need a material that is a conductor of electricity but that is non-magnetic, such as aluminum or copper. The internal plate of the hard drive is made of aluminum. We can see that if we put the magnet close to the disc, it is not attracted. Also, the plate spins at a high speed. We also need the speed in order to get the levitation effect. Okay, the hard drive is now connected to the power supply and the magnet is fixed to this piece of aluminum tape. I'm going to turn on the power supply and let's see. The hard drive starts to spin and I'm going to put the magnet above. The hard drive stops and the magnet no longer levitates. Instead of the hard drive, you can also use a piece of aluminum fixed to a hand drill and you get the same effect. Let's see. Let me try to explain why the magnet levitates. Here I have a coil connected to the multimeter and some magnets. Remember that when a magnetic field cuts a conductor, a current is induced in the conductor. So let me move the magnet through the coil and you can see that the multimeter shows a voltage. That is, we have a current flowing in the coil. We can also have the magnet without movement and move the coil through the magnet and we also get a current. 
the relative motion is what is important. But now, when a current flows through a coil, the coil becomes an electromagnet and creates its own magnetic field. Because of what we have just explained, we can see that when we put the magnet above the aluminum plate that is rotating, since the aluminum is a conductor, a current is induced in the part of the aluminum that is below the magnet. This induced current is known as eddy current and creates its own magnetic field. By virtue of Lenz law, the magnetic field created by the eddy currents must be of a polarity such that repels the magnet that is above. Therefore, there is a repulsion force between the magnet and the aluminum below. And this creates the levitation effect. An interesting application of this phenomenon is magnetic braking. There is some kind of drag or friction between the magnetic fields of the magnet and the aluminum even when they are not touching. So when we bring a powerful magnet near a moving conductor, there is a drag or friction that results in breaking of the movement. So let me turn on the Dremel to show this effect. As you could hear, the speed is reduced when we bring the magnet close to the aluminum plate.